Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. teacher. How are you? Good evening. Bye, bye, thank you. It's nice to hear that. I hope that you have had a wonderful day. And good news, yeah, today is the last day of class of this week. Next week, we just have two more classes and you are done with this. It's good. Um, have you finished the platform? How, how many of you have finished? Nobody? Yes. Oh, you finished? Yeah. Nice. And the rest yes, of teacher. you? You too? Nice. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so today we will continue with yesterday's topic. Yesterday we started to study the, the verb be in affirmative and negative statements. So for today we're going to continue with uh, the questions with the verb be. Let's uh, watch the video and then we're going to put all things together and make a short explanation and more examples. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of B. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that Whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject you Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the U.S. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark, born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so yesterday we studied and how to make affirmative statements, right? Uh, with the verb be. 
affirmative and negative as well. But let's start the affirmative form. So we say that we need to add a subject. What do we do after the subject? I place, was, or were, depending, right? And after was or were, what do I need after that? Complement. <laughs> yes, thank you, a kind of complement. So let's see, I can play the subject, uh, my grandfather. My grandfather. What I'm going to use was a word. Was. Okay, correct. My grandfather was, and then a compliment. A uh, soldier, for example. Soldier. Okay, my grandfather was a soldier. Now, to make negative, how do we make the negative statements? Do you remember? We need the subject. After the subject? Wasn't or wasn't. weren't. Wasn't. Uh -huh. Wasn't or weren't. Depending of the subject. Wasn't or weren't. And after that? Compliment. A compliment. A soldier. Uh -huh. The compliment. So if I want to write this same sentence, I just need to add not after was, right? And I said, again, my grandfather. Wasn't. Uh -huh. Wasn't a soldier. Soldier. Now, uh, to make it a yes no question, ahora quiero convertir esto mismo en una yes no question. ¿Cómo lo haría? Was your father a soldier? Ajá, es así, podría ser una opción was at the beginning, luego el sujeto que sería your grandfather. Was your grandfather a soldier? A soldier. Uh huh. Was your grandfather a well, soldier? If the answer is affirmative, si fuera una respuesta afirmativa, diría. Yes, he is. Yes, he, yes, he, he was. Was. Uh huh. En pasado. Yes, he was. Uh, if the answer could be negative. No, comma, he wasn't, right? No, he wasn't. So now to make a, a I said I'll be describing the formula. Yes? After wasn't, I can use verb ing. Mm. In not in, in, this... in, in example, my grandfather wasn't driving. That is past continuous or past progressive. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Yes, it is possible in past progressive. And that is usually when we are talking about two actions happening at the same time, but the first action was interrupted. For example, I can say, I was um I was taking a shower when the phone rang. Mm -hmm. So ese es pasado continuo y el pasado continuo se utiliza usualmente cuando hablamos de dos acciones en pasado eh, que sucedieron al mismo tiempo pero una fue interrumpida. Por ejemplo decir yo me estaba bañando cuando el teléfono sonó. I was mm -hmm. taking a shower when the phone rang. Pero sí, Maximum. Sí, solo que ese tiempo sea, es el 
past continuous or past progressive. Any other question? Y en ese, como, como ya sabemos, igual que en el presente continuo, el presente continuo también lleva el verbo be como auxiliar. Entonces, el verbo que sigue ya va con ing expresando la, la acción que estaba en progreso. Uh -huh. And, well, that was for the yes, no question. And then, if we need to... Um, Teacher, uh -huh. uh, you say uh, uh, it can be one form at the beginning. Uh, exist another form to to make the uh, uh, the statement uh, uh, the the question. I I, told, I, I said was my father. A soldier, but you say it can be, uh, but I, um, I think uh, there is another form to, to make the, the question. I, can you repeat that or paraphrase for me? Yes, when you say it can uh, be I, when I, I, yes, I when, when I, when, when I. Uh, that that is in the case that I'm asking to myself. Was my grandfather, uh, uh, or, or I am asking to another person who knows him. In the case that I know, I can say, was my grandfather a soldier? I don't know. No. I'm I'm asking. Okay, mm -hmm. but you say, was your grandfather? In case that someone else is asking me, so mm -hmm. that's what I said. That can be another option. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It depends yeah. on the context or it depends the person who is asking the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other question? Okay, let's make another question. So um, to make yes no question, we have first was or where, right? to make a yes, no question. After that, what do we place then? Do you remember? Subject. Uh-huh, the subject. And after the subject? The verb or action or uh, complement. No, in this case, we don't have a verb because we have the verb be, was or were. Y eso es lo que a veces tiende a confundir, que pensamos que necesitamos poner otro verbo. Pero en el pasado simple, no. Ya el verbo vi es el verbo y no ocupa auxiliar. Por eso a veces se tiende a confundir. Y ayer vi que algunos estaban como mezclando el pasado simple con el vi, con el pasado simple que vimos la semana pasada y un par de días atrás. Entonces eso es como, como no se mezcla. Por ejemplo, aquí... Si se recuerdan, en el tema de la semana pasada, para hacer um, una yes, no question, usábamos el auxiliar did. Uh -huh. okay? Como decir, ¿te gustó la película? ¿Cómo hacíamos esa pregunta? Did you like the movie? Ajá, excelente. Did you like the movie? So usamos el auxiliar did y el verbo like. Did you like the movie? ¿Te gustó la película? Pero... Eso es con cualquier otro verbo que no sea cero estar. Si no es cero estar, entonces sí usamos el auxiliar did. Pero si vamos a usar cero estar, no usamos otro auxiliar y no usamos otro verbo. Si es pasado, simple. Como le explicaba por la pregunta de Máximo, en pasado continuo sí se pueden poner dos verbos, pero no van en el mismo tiempo. Uno se queda en pasado simple y el otro va con ing. So, en este tiempo no, no ponemos dos verbos juntos en el mismo, um, sin conjugar. Pasado simple, el único verbo que vamos a ver es was y were cuando sea verbo to be. Okay? Entonces, so, es como dos cosas que no vamos a mezclar. So, was, were, then subject y luego del subject, algún tipo de complement, ¿verdad? Y al final, el signo de pregunta.
esta sería una yes no questions. Como que no me fijé si llegaste tarde a clase. Entonces le pregunto, were you late for class? Si yo le pregunto, llegaste tarde a clases, were you late for the class? No, I weren't. Mm. No, I was. No, I wasn't. I was. Ajá, no, I wasn't. Si no, es no. Ah, no, I was. I wasn't. Wasn't. Ah, no, I wasn't. Y si sí llegó tarde, me diría. Yes. I was. I was. Uh -huh. Y el I siempre va mayúscula, pero no me lo agarro aquí. No, I wasn't. O oh, yes, I was. Ahora, si yo quiero hacer una WH question. Ok, aquí usted me contesta fácil, yes o no. Yes, I was. O no, I wasn't. Por eso se llaman yes, no question. Pero si yo le agrego aquí una WH word. Ok, le voy a agregar una WH word. Y se la ponemos aquí. Um, y le ponemos why. Ya no me puede contestar yes o no. Ok. Si se fijan, solo le agregamos el why aquí. Digamos que sí sé que llegó tarde. Entonces ahora quiero saber el por qué. Cuando queremos saber el por qué, preguntamos why. Why were you late for class? Ok. Aquí ya no me puede decir yes. Ni no. Ok. Tiene que dar una razón. Why were you late for the class? We usually answer with because. Oh, because. I was sir. going in the traffic. Uh -huh, because I was in the traffic or I was stuck in a traffic. So you give the reason. Tiene que dar la razón, ¿verdad? So let's have uh, questions. Hay que dar una explicación. Eh, o información adicional. Y um, la, única, eh, lo, la única variación en la estructura es que le ponemos la WH word al principio. Y para responder, no las podemos responder con sí o con no, sino que tenemos que dar información. ¿Sí? Eso sería como uh, juntando lo de las, uh, lo que vimos ayer más lo que vimos ahora que son las preguntas. Eh, y aquí tenemos questions with the past of B. Tenemos, um, were you in class yesterday? That is a yes, no question. So you answer, yes, I was. Or no, I wasn't. Was your first teacher American? Yes, she was. Or no, she wasn't. Were your parents born in the US? Yes, they were. Or no, they weren't. That would be for yes, no questions. That's the structure that we already studied. Now that you know that, we're going to uh, look at this chart. And uh, we have some questions here and a picture. Okay, so based on the picture, we are going to answer those questions. We got Adam, Mrs. Carter, Cindy and uh, let me see who's the other boy, uh, Mark. Okay, so we're going to answer these questions. Question number one, was Adam on time for class yesterday? Was it English class? Was it a sunny day? Was it 10 o'clock? Was Mrs. Carter very angry? Were Cindy and Mark late for the class? Were they at the board? Were the windows open? So we have those questions and we have to analyze and answer according to what we can see on the picture. We can do this in groups and then we're going to get back to the main section to, to check your answer. Um, before going to the group, is there any question? Or are the instructions clear? Yes. Okay, yes, good. So you yes. have this in the presentation that I sent yesterday. So you may work with this one. Let me create the rooms then. Okay.
Yes. Why? <laughs> Because the police are on here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Was Adam on time for class yesterday? No, she. Uh, no, he. He, sorry. No, he wasn't. Wow. Was it English English class? No. No, it was. What? Uh, I don't know. Listen. I think it's a math class. Ah, ah, yes. I Mm -hmm. ah, and mm -hmm. the answer is okay. No, it wasn't. No, it porque wasn't. Es en past. So, no podemos decir um, is. Say, mm -hmm. no. Okay. So, it would be no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Was it a sunny day? No, no, it, no it was. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, it's it's a rain day. A rain? Okay. Was a rain? <laughs> uh, was it a pen? A pen? I, I don't know about that. Yes, it was. Why? Ah, yes, I, 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 I saw. Was. La, la tía es cinco, son? Ajá, uh -huh, no. ¿Cómo you... se dice? Oh. You can say um, five, five after ten, five. or ten o five. Ten o five a.m. Was it ten o five? Ten o five. Mm -hmm. Thank ten you. Eight five. Was Mr. Carter very angry? Yes. Yes, yes, she, yes, she, yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yeah. Yes, she was. Were Cindy and Mark late to class? No. No, no they, they weren't. weren't. Hmm. Where? Were they at the board? Were they at the board? Bruh. Mm -hmm. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, but what is board? Uh, in is the ones uh, where you can write. Uh, is Sarah? Is Sarah? Oh, okay. Yes. Pizarra. Yes. Yeah. Pizarro. Yes. Were the windows open? No. The, no. The, no. 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 Okay. They, no. 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 No, no, no. I consider that is they because uh, it if you is, see is that, cosa, no es persona. But uh -huh. it's plural. Remember that but it's if plural. it is plural, uh -huh, okay. it changes. They. They. Mm -hmm. Because it's plural. The windows. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Tichin. Not matter uh, and it's a thing. No, it doesn't matter. If it is one thing in singular, you use it. But if it's uh, plural things, they are, uh, se convierten en they. Ya se pluralizan con they, aunque sean cosas. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Finished. They plural things. Now you can practice speaking, asking the question, y pueden hacerlo como no en orden, sino que como decir, um, 
Eh, Ivy, were they at the board? Y ahí Ivy me contesta la, la que le pregunté. Were they at the board? No, they weren't. Ajá, y después Ivy pregunta a otra otro compañero para que se vayan este, como practicando más y, 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 y esto como nos hizo trabarnos un poquito, ¿verdad? Analizando y todo. Sí. Entonces ya, ahorita que ya analizaron y ya se quebraron la cabeza, ya lo pueden hacer más fluidito. Ok. Ok. Vilma, ¿was ¿Mm? it a day? ¿Mm? Was it entonces? Ajá. Ah, opción, opcional. Yes, yes, he was then. He, he was. Or, mm -hmm. or sí, because was right he... now he, he is. Ah, late. ok, right now. <laughs> eh, he was. Mm -hmm. Because yesterday, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Yes, he was. Is the form correct? The correct form. And yesterday. Yes, he was. But 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 um, if the teacher is hungry, come on, he is. Was Adam on time for angry. class yesterday? Angry. And Today. If the teacher is angry. Possible the Adam. The Adam. Uh, ¿Cómo decía? ¿Llegó tarde? Sí. Late, late. No. Ah, he was... In, was late. He was late. But if Mr. you look the face, if you look the face of Mr. Carter, Carter um, I don't know, if, if, if it can be, it can be Adam, again, you stay, uh, you come in late, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes, Look the picture, that. let's that. imagine that the picture was taken yesterday. Okay, thanks. Um, and other ones? What is English class? What, what is English class? Mm. No, no wasn't. Is uh, matemática. ¿El sujeto en la respuesta? Eh, no, he, he wasn't. Sí, no, porque nos estamos no, refiriendo no. a la clase. What, was it English class? Ah, was it, no. Was it, uh -huh. no, no, it, no, no, it, no was. it wasn't. No, mm -hmm. it wasn't. No. It, it, wasn't. it, it mm -hmm. is math class. Matemática. Mm -hmm. Is mathematics class? Sí. Mathematics. Math. 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 Puede math. decir math. 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 Lo más común es decir math. 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 Y, si el, ajá, y si lo quiere decir completo es mathematics. Mm -hmm. Mathematics. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was was is a sunny day. A sunny day? No. It no. was. It It's, it's, ra it's rain. Rains. Rains. Day. Uh -huh. You can say it was a rainy day. Or rainy it day. was, uh -huh. or it was raining. Lo que it's decía, hasta raining. estaba lloviendo. Mm -hmm. That is past mm -hmm. continuous. Raining. No, it was raining. It's... It was raining. Mm -hmm. Raining. Present. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. No, in the past, it was raining. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Was it 10? Ah, uh, uh, entonces, okay. Adam, Adam llegó tarde porque estaba lloviendo. Llegó todo mojado. Uh -huh. <laughs> was it 10? Was it 10? No, it no. wasn't. Is no, it wasn't. It uh, ten, ten, oh, uh, five, oh, or close, ten, oh, no, ten, oh, five, ten, oh, five, oh, five, five, oh, close. Was Mr. Carter? 
they're very hungry? Yes. No. Yes. She was happy. <laughs> yes. yes, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Oh, yes, she was. Mm -hmm. Yes, Happy. she was. <laughs> Very hungry. <laughs> Very, Very angry. Yeah. <laughs> Very angry. <laughs> angry. Uh -huh, porque, angry. Porque angry. hambre angry. Yeah, es hambre. Hambre. <laughs> hambre. 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 Teacher, yes. Are you hungry? <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, no. I already had dinner. But I would like to have a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Were Cindy yeah. and Mark late to class? No, they weren't. No, no they weren't. Okay. No, they weren't. Were, were they at the board? No, they weren't. Okay. Were the windows open? No, no, they weren't. Teacher, mm -hmm. can I say where they close? Were they closed? Yes, or were the windows uh, yeah. closed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say, you can uh, ask that. Were the windows closed? No, uh, they were closed. Ah, yes, you can answer. No, they weren't. Mm -hmm. They were closed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, that was the last question, right? So, see you in the main section. Okay, still see people in the breakout rooms. Qué raro. <laughs> El minuto más largo de la vida. <laughs> okay, uh, let us check your answers. Let me check this. Uh, okay, we're going to check with you. Now, what about the first question? Uh, Juan Cruz, was Adam on time for class yesterday? <laughs> Um, yes, he was. Are you sure? Uh, that was yeah. yesterday's class. Was Adam on uh, time for class yesterday? No, that, okay, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Okay, Juan, ask the question number two to someone else. Um, Vilma. What? Was it English class? No, it wasn't. Okay, Vilma, continue. Uh, um, Maxim, what is a sunny day? No, it wasn't.
Okay, continue. Mm. Elizabeth, was it 10? Elizabeth? Elizabeth, are you Hola. there? <coughs> Emperatriz? Was it 10? Eh, no, 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 it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, continue. Ask the next question. Um, okay. Uh, Alejandro. Alejandro? Tell me. Ah, okay. Um, was, was Miss, Mrs. Carter very angry? Yes, she was. Okay, Alejandro, continue. Um, Nancy, were they at the board? No, no, no. Number six. Number six. No, Where pardon. Is... Were Cindy and Mark late to class? No, they weren't. Uh -huh. Continue um, with the next one. It is. Uh, were they at the board? Uh, acabo de entrar a clase. No, no, no sé. Disculpen. Okay. Oh, me voy conectando. Uh -huh. Ask another classmate. Okay. Este... Ivy. Tell me. Were they at the board? No, they weren't. Okay, even the last question. Ask this so, one of the... <laughs> Sorry. Were the windows open? To whom? Again. Rosario. Rosario. Were the windows open? No, it wasn't. Mm. Windows, it's in plural. <laughs> no, were wasn't? No, they. No, no they wasn't. Con they no. usamos were, y como es negativo sería? No, they weren't. No. No, they weren't. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. How was the exercise? ¿Cómo sintieron el ejercicio? So, so. So, so. So, so. Okay, nice. So, vamos a seguir practicando. Este, creo que es como primera vez que ven el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Como, it's a topic. Esto se repite, pero ya yeah, sí, quiere mucha práctica. So let's continue and we still have time to cover a little bit more on this topic. Okay, after that we have a, a short video about the pronunciation of negative contractions. Let's see and share the sound. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. 
wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Okay, as I told you, that was a short video just to practice negative contractions. And uh, let's see what is that one to hear the audio again. Hmm. Okay, so we have contractions of um, one syllable and they are divided in, in the one syllable and two syllable contractions. And, uh, and there in the video, um, there is a tip that says that, that we can extend the end, eh, extenderla no es que vamos a quedarnos haciendo, sino que quizás más bien pronunciarla eh, como remarcada, verdad? Por ejemplo, one syllable aren't, que se vea, bueno, que se escuche, no que se vea, bueno, el grito sí se ve, que se escuche que hay una T, una N ahí, más bien, no tanto como que extenderla y que nos vamos a quedar, en, no, es un aren't, que, que se escuche que hay una N ahí entre la, la, entre la T y la N, right? Aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. That is a really easy. Uh, let's listen one more time. Maybe I'm going to play the audio twice so that you can repeat at home. Page 102, exercise four, pronunciation. Negative contractions. Part A, listen and practice. One syllable. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Page 102, Exercise 4, Pronunciation. Negative Contractions. Part A. Listen and Practice. One Syllable. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, two syllables, isn't, wasn't, Doesn't, didn't, okay, then it, that is the other exercise that we listened as well in the video from the platform where uh, the contractions are included in these sentences. 
We're going to listen the sentences as well and repeat. Page 102, exercise four, part B. Listen and practice. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. This isn't my swimsuit. I can't swim. They weren't here yesterday, and they aren't here today. Page 102, Exercise 4, Part B. Listen and practice. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. This isn't my swimsuit. I can't swim. They weren't here yesterday, and they aren't here today. Okay, so uh, this is what we already did. So we have this in the presentation and as well in case that you want to continue practicing at home this topic. And we're going to move to the next exercise, uh, which is about the WH questions we did, was and were. We're going to watch the video as well. You must remember the following. You will use was WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. 
Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Bien, usualmente vamos con la conversación, pero pues ya no nos queda suficiente tema para ello, para ir a la conversación pero pues ya como tener un adelanto de, de lo que vamos a estar haciendo el lunes. <ríe> sí, mañana hay unas clases. Es uh, practicar. Si ya de por sí es un poquito eh, a veces complicado estar concentrados en una sola estructura, vamos a tratar de practicar y hacer ejercicios de la manera más clara y sencilla para este tema, porque aquí, como ven, están ya combinados los dos. Y era lo que se nos decía en el video, ¿verdad? Que a veces puede ser un poco complicado y no es la intención tampoco confundirlos, ¿verdad? Sino que eh, ayudar y a que, porque pues los tiempos gramaticales se combinan cuando estamos hablando. Y en la conversación que, que vamos a practicar el lunes están eh, el pasado simple con verbo be y también con los demás verbos. Es sencillamente de comprender que cuando estemos utilizando was o were, no vamos a utilizar otro verbo ni auxiliar did. Y lo vamos a utilizar nada más cuando eh, queramos expresar algo relacionado con ser o estar. Y pues las preguntas sobre el nacer, ¿verdad? Porque es así, es como así es. Y no intentemos traducirla al español porque pues eh, no tendría sentido. Entonces, eh, básicamente sería eso, ¿verdad? Cuando tengamos que preguntar algo relacionado con ser o estar o de dónde nacimos, ¿verdad? Entonces se usa was o were y 
no le ponemos did y no le ponemos otro verbo. Si queremos utilizar otro verbo, hacer, comer, jugar, estudiar, etc. Entonces sí, utilizamos el auxiliar did y pues otros verbos. Y no, si se fijan aquí, donde hay did, no hay was y were. Y donde hay was y were, no tenemos did. Es que no se combinan. Son como eh, dividir el pasado simple en dos. La parte del pasado simple con el verbo to be, was y were. Y a la otra parte que es donde yo uso otros verbos que no tienen que ver con ser o estar. Y lo mismo sucede en presente. En presente simple tenemos el presente simple con el verbo to be. Y... El presente simple con los demás verbos, que si se recuerdan ustedes cuando hacemos una oración con el verbo to be en negativa, solo le ponemos not después de is, am o are. Pero cuando es una negativa con otro verbo que no tiene nada que ver con ser o estar, entonces usamos el auxiliar don't o doesn't para hacer oraciones negativas. Entonces lo mismo pasa en pasado. Es como hacer dos secciones. La parte del pasado con cuando yo quiero decir algo relacionado a ser o estar y la otra parte donde pues uso cualquier otro verbo que no está relacionado con ser o estar y manteniendo eso en mente es más fácil saber cuándo voy a estructurar de qué manera eh, vamos a hacer igual un ejercicio tal vez de encontrar los, los, los errores para que ustedes vayan eh, discutiendo y recordando todo esto que hemos visto eh, acerca del pasado simple y así cerraríamos eh, la sección 5 la próxima semana, si Dios permite. So, that will be for today. And, um, yes, voy a mandar de nuevo la presentación. Y también, pues, voy a buscar, quizás la voy a modificar mañana o el fin de semana para agregarle más ejercicios, ¿verdad? Para que tengamos más que hacer el lunes y martes. <ríe> ¿Verdad? Uh, si es que, bueno, sería todo por ahora. Descansen y que tengan un fin de semana muy bonito. Cuídense siempre. And see you Monday. Thank you, teacher. See you Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.